Uh, we just got back from the Copart auction preview. There's some good vehicles here today. I'm going to show you them in a, a second along with what they sell for. There's a, a Super Duty there I'm interested in. I looked it over and there was a, a, some problems that are definitely underlying that you're never going to be able to see from just the photos. Uh, I've had one of those six liters before and they uh, have a lot of problems with the head gas that's going out, if the coolant uh, system or the EGR fails, then you're going to have a lot of problems really quick if it gets overheating and warps the heads. This one was stolen. It's listed in there for salvage from a vandalism. Ignition's already jacked with. It's going to need ignition, door locks, the a full bolt proofing kit, a full exhaust. It's going to need about two, three thousand dollars worth of work and parts, not including labor. Just get this thing fixed and you would never know it just from looking at the photos you'd think it was just runs and drives and wouldn't have any problems so check it out at the auction here in a second and come back make sure to subscribe and like the video if you like it or not whatever just leave me a comment let me know what you think and so i can get these videos a little bit better for you and stay tuned there's a nice f-150 in here only 6,400 miles. What do you think it's in here for? That's right. It was flooded. In case you wanted a completely mud covered truck, this is a nice choice. Yeah, used to be a good truck. Nice color to it too. Yeah. That's too bad. Sold on approval. Bonus time. New bidder. So Here's a nice 17 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited four door sport. Actually, hitting the front here. But more importantly, Get hit on the axle so hard broke the front lower control arm and the shock the control arm broken and if you look close also push everything back hard enough to crack the oil pan leaking oil Hood looks a little bit misaligned. Definitely not really drivable. Some damage to the front end here. Only 34,000 miles. These Wranglers seem to hold their value quite well for some reason. Or one likes the style, but they don't really use them to do anything. Yeah, see that side of the line just fine. The hinge on the other side got tweaked. Engine looks all right. I'm sure, it's a little bit low in oil. This 
so we can check the oil out. There's nothing on it. Nope. Yeah, it's completely dry. miles. Make sure it's not broken. Got a soft cover up here. Let me put green LEDs everywhere. Let's see the switch for the LED on the outside. Yeah, I found some stickers. Good otherwise, just a little bit of axle suspension work. Nice little Jeep. looking Ram Rebel here. This one's in for vandalism. It was stolen. So they sitting around for a while. A couple scratches out here. The factory spring bed liner. Four thousand miles. You got that rebel two-tone red and black interior on it. Being a 2020 Ram, quite a few miles. 1,500-pound payload. More importantly, though, it's missing. Something right about here. This is a two wheel drive Rebel. Sounds silly enough. I'm sure it'd get around just fine if you really wanted to. Six eighty six miles. Do that thing, US, right, right there. 
21,686. Your seats work. It's a nice truck. It's really unfortunate it's only two-wheel drive. It scare away a lot of buyers. Nice truck though. Only 21,000 miles on it. Tire. I don't see any obvious damage on this truck. It's, it's got the factory Mopar off road floor mats, heavy duty ones. There's not any damage down here. It's good down there. It's not a tow hook, probably because it's only two wheel drive. Pretty clean. We got the tow mirror option. Fortune F 150. Hit on the side. Set off both roof airbags. Only 67,000 miles. XLT. 1700 pound payload. It's got no options. Manual seats. It's basically uh, going to be a STX with cruise control. 7,000 miles. Yeah. Sounds good. Getting the oil change in more April. So some of us actually had the oil change before it got wrecked. Got both roof airbags, tensioner on this side at least. Passenger side's alright. Let's walk around. Let's drop the bed liner. New bitter. Sold on approval. Pure sale. New bitter.
bonus time. Sold on approval. New bidder. Chevy Colorado 2017, 19,000 miles on it. This one was in a salvage title, previously repaired. Trick is if you can find the damage. Current bid on this one is about eight thousand dollars. Oh, there we go. That's some overspray behind the handle there. Somebody forgot to tape that off. Jeez, fifteen hundred pound payload. That's more than some half ton trucks. Bed liner in there. Does it start up? Ah, it's missing the key. Make it hard to check. It starts with no key. See that nice over. At least on the driver's side somewhere. Did a decent job. Fender looks a little bit off. This looks a little different color white. Yeah, I've got a nice panel gap. Nice and tight on this side. A little bit bigger on this side. I tried. Good job. Oh, nice Super Duty here, 2006, got a 6 liter diesel, easy way to steal these, put a screwdriver in there, break the handle off, push down on this, the door pops open. And you just jam something in there. Crank it over, breaks off the ignition. And you start it right up. 2,400 pound payload. Like somebody tried taking care of it. Little controller there for plow. Nice interior at least. Seats are notorious for getting all chewed up. Ripping out. Seats to work. There he is, so it has nice options to it. Trick here. Yeah. It shouldn't turn by itself. The battery is too dead and my jump pack decided to swell out and die. So unfortunately I can't get this thing started. Not bad though. Hundred thirty five thousand miles. Snap on box in the back. Had that impound yard numbers on this thing too. Stolen or missing tailgate, flip over. 
wall. Extra damage down here. Next to the truck actually doesn't look that bad. Take off the engine. Huh? Sinister diesel coolant kit, filtration. Got a single alternator set up. This is still the EGR. That looks dry. That's dry. Probably still has the EGR system on it. That's leaked. Which means the whole thing could have overheated and then warp the heads. I can't see very well from here, but it looks like the EGR cooler. It's square design one, so it's a little bit different. So, interesting way to check to see if these got head studs on them. Check this. Bottom bolt out here. That one is octagonal. It's got a factory bolt on it. So unfortunately this does not have studs on it. It has the EGR. It's pretty much all stock. Check to see if it's got anything aftermarket. It's missing the exhaust pipe here. They cut the cap converter off of it. So they stole it. The inspector exhaust. That's going to be super loud when it does start up. Yeah. Factory shocks, too. That would normally be a factory. All stock vehicle. It's almost bone stock. Don't need everything done to it. The 2015 F350. Been looking for one of these six sevens, but this one looks like it's got some pretty hard hit in the front frame rail. It's hard to see, but that front frame rail, there you go, that's easier to see. That's been pushed over quite a bit. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see from camera view, but that frame rail got tweaked, twisted quite a bit. Hard enough to stretch that door out. Yeah. This has a no start, 155,000 miles, bald tires. Hit the back, too. Yeah. Four seventy-eight payload. Nice. Which one's cracked? Tractor's locked. It doesn't smell too bad, but it needs a cleaning. That frame. Man, that 
thing is just twisted all over. Needs a whole new front frame rail. Radiator cracked. Sports cracked. Mm. Made a good trip to the frame shop. I'll make some good money on this one. Sold on approval.